Hello everyone, so today we're starting a new series, fourth in a row, Wally Stalin. And uh, I've tried several different approaches flying, and I believe that the that proper rush uh, with all the miners captured in advance and then rush to Germany is not really feasible for me, I don't know why. I think it's because uh, Soviet army has quite a lot of detrimental uh, modifiers at the beginning of the game and I just can't compete with uh, Germany. But still there is a hope we still can uh, execute early aggression, I guess. It's just we don't need to build tanks. We will now use only aviation and artillery with infantry uh, and uh, we will tanks are currently kind of weakened because of the DLC and uh, if we want to use tanks and we will only use soft divisions and uh, aviation at the beginning of the game we might be able to uh, handle Germany at least till Antanta countries uh, join the United States, at least till the United States will join and then we will probably be able to turn the tide, something like that. Something like that. Also early aggression is not feasible because uh, the Allies, they, they declare on us as well as Germany and it's not good. Even though they're fighting between each other uh, and the Allies declaring means that we want we, we can't trade easily and we can't we have to sometimes divert our troops to fight some naval invasions and uh, some uh, our aviation also struggles so so let's not anger our western allies potential allies and uh, and, the, and let's not build any tanks at all let's just in the, at the first phase of the game at least Let's just build the infantry artil artillery and so on. Okay, so what do I need? So, kind of contrary to what to what uh, to what uh, people think. Sometimes it's uh, it's really. Like, Sometimes it's really uh, important to build obsolete equipment. We need it to fulfill garrison needs, so we will build some. Uh, also, what we need is, yeah, support equipment. Quite a lot of it. Yeah, like something like that. Like that. Infantry equipment, of course. Yeah. We need a lot of artillery. Light tanks, just delete these trucks. Yeah, we need to, like five fighters. We need a lot of them. Also, need to, to deploy some tactical bombers. No, not this thing. Yeah, the bomber. We will build them a bit. Maybe, maybe not. Let's not build them. Actually, we'll build. We will build uh, closer support later. Um. So yeah, that's all we need for now. Trucks, artillery, support equipment, infantry equipment. Mm -hmm. Maybe let's advance fighter production a bit. Maybe let's do it like this. Like this. Mm -hmm. Should we maybe boost our fighter production even more? Like this. Yeah, something like this. 
because we will have to struggle for air supremacy with Germany and it's no, not an easy task, even with Allied support. By the way, Allied support would be really, really great. Yeah. So, people say that um, air, air plays a bigger role now, if we can struggle for air and successfully, successfully deploy our fighters, successfully struggle for air, then, well, we will be able to win, win offenses and capture ground and advance. So I will still I will still capture Poland right away. And thus I will not I will not research any focus for 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 C how do you say for C for for key any for key for C now I will wait for for enough points to declare in Poland. So let's dispatch with the troops. Okay, this let's delete half of them right away. Um, um, let's move cavalry to a separate division. Yeah. Move tanks and mobile infantry to the separate one as well. We want to use mobile infantry, but we will have small mobile army just to deal with crisis, something like that. Um, everything else was just as usual. Put them in. Actually, we need a separate mountain. Oops, army. So something like that, yeah. And these. This. Okay, okay. So here we have this. Infantry army group, and here we have the special army group. Uh, so let's assign our best guy here and our second best guy here. Yeah. And what's this? I don't understand. So. Something like this. Um, this one will be Zhukov. This one. I have someone with commander trait, right? Let's use this guy. Let's use the commander trait guy. Where is it? Yeah, Kuznetsov. Off you go. And here we can just have some cavalry dump. Fuck. Sorry about that. Swearing. Uh, let's check. Check what's going on here. Yeah, cavalry officer. Yeah, this one will do. So, um, and here we'll just put in everyone else. Konev, Rokosovsky, Zelensky, Shapushnikov. Up with the glasses. So, um, let's continue with troops deployment. Yeah. I'm not sure if the support. Provisions will be enough here, but let's try. Um, <coughs> actually, what will what will happen if we? Oops. <laughs> oh my god. 
and this is the other one. So, Tuchachevsky. Sorry about that, Mr. Tuchachevsky. So let's remove let's remove one from here and let's put three armies. Actually, three, not four here. That would be enough, I guess. And this guy, Igorov, these armies will fill in Baltic borders and Romanian border. Also, let's change supply to the maximum. And these guys put them in reserve somewhere somewhere here maybe be fine I guess um, these mountain drops let's also put them in reserve in Moscow and these guys they will provide oh my god I forgot about them can cover the divisions right well, actually it's fine they can be some use and these guys, let's them. Let's just put them on area defense everywhere. Yeah. Oh, actually, this is one of ours as well, right? Or is it? Is it now? Probably not. Tanatova is ours and Mongolia as well. Yeah. Something like this. No, let's not let's just put them here, it will be enough. And in St. Petersburg. So yeah. Uh research. We will need some military stuff right away because we will be fighting an offensive war. What's up with here? Hospital, yeah, we probably need that for our mountain mountain drops to keep up with the XP. Oh no, maybe let's use some research some artillery and yeah, let's boost production. So, yeah, off we go. We have some infantry equipment deficit, but it's not critical. I hope. Okay, what's up with the supply? We're more or less fine, right? Oh no, or not. Let's check. 97%, I guess it's negligible. Let's just leave it at that. And 92% here. Oh, here we have some issues, right? Let's fix them. Why do we have 10 divisions here? What the, what's going on? Let's remove them. And five, div six divisions here is not. It's not. Seven divisions here. That's too much. Yeah, are we happy? Are we? Are we happy now? Yeah, we are. And here, oh, 95%. What's up? Have some issues here. Yeah? No, don't. <laughs> well, I think it's not an issue. That's just train people. Okay. So I'll just draw some nice lines. Something like this. Mm -hmm. Production. Yeah, artillery production is quite nice and we I expect to boost our divisions with some artillery quite soon. Alright, um, we have already enough 
to justify it. And uh, let's start with um, focus. Okay, some issues with the rubber. It's fine. No divisions since basic training. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I need to fix the fleet. Let's actually build the submarines. These guys, everything will go to Baltic fleet. Baltic fleet. Baltic fleet. It's a bit tedious, right? We also will have to be build some convoys. Oh, oh well, and let's fix our fleets. So second best, the best, whatever, whatever. Let's let's exercise them all. And uh, yeah, that's all. All right, we have some truck issues, but it's no problem. It's a no problem. Let's have our truck production boosted as soon as possible. Okay, okay. Um. Let's maybe disband our mobile division to alleviate issue with trucks. We don't need it mobile, this mobile division because it's just well, it won't make any difference, I think, in our Poland war. And we have some decisions available already, but we don't need them. So the next thing we can do is we can switch to, to something like war economy maybe. We can actually boost a bit our war support. What if I justify against some minor and against Estonia for instance? Yeah. Yeah, we now have 50. Nice. So we will just switch to war economy right away. See how our truck supplies uh, started. Starting to boost. Okay, we need to start to start purchase right away. Okay, so twenty seventh of October already. We have a nice war in our hands. Let's disband all the planes actually. We don't need them till the very moment we start the war. And we'll have to reorganize the wings anyway. Yeah. What decisions? No, it's not required. with the trucks. We need the trucks. We need the healthy amount of trucks and surplus as well because maybe I will have to switch to some mobile stuff. Also it's needed for the, some recon, some support. Ok, 
your basic machine tools. Let's continue with the construction. Yeah. And we need concentrated industry and <laughs> here. No, no. It's too early. Everything is too early. Oh, we need, we need close air support. Yeah. Okay, we have six military experience. I actually need to, to get some Some wines about support, but it's not an issue at all. It's 99%. What else do you want? We need to switch to work on me and hire some advisor with army experience as soon as possible. I guess war economy is a priority. Yeah. Can we train some stuff already now? Actually, let's restrict our... Equipment, because we don't need this equipment to go to... Basic equipment to go to the to the good divisions. Let's have garrison division, and it will use only basic. Yeah, something like this. So the upgrades will start, we will have a lot of basic equipment in our squads, our warehouses, squad is in Russian, <laughs> I don't know why I said it. And um, then we will have this basic equipment to rely on. Yeah. Still to boost its production because we still have shortages of our proper equipment. Let's continue. Okay, the focus is done. Let's go on with the purge. And we are almost to the war economy. Okay. Oh, it's again at 49%. Why? Why? Well, let's justify against these guys. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's not a good option. It was, it was not a good decision because I've spent a lot of political power on this small country. I don't know. Okay, we're done with the... Perch and let's not research any focus now because any focus for see now because we need to switch to work on it as soon as possible. Yeah, we we'll question everything. Joseph Stalin is a contemplating man. What can I say? Okay, let's check what's going on with the training. Yeah, we're enough, enough with the training, I guess. Enough with the training. Okay. 
we have some artillery in, in stock, but infantry equipment is still struggling. Okay. Stop pestering me about some. Okay, it's uh, we need 150 I believe. Mm -hmm. All right, let's switch to war economy. See, we have uh, we, we almost doubled. Oh, actually, we we, did, we actually doubled our production capacity. Nice. Isn't that nice? So we have maybe we will maybe build some additional factories. And let's uh, let's go on with uh, with a focus with some focus. So the war is looming. Let's dispatch our planes already. Okay, this will do. And uh, this here will be bombers. I guess 400 is all we have, yeah. Yeah. We can also deploy our navies here. Strike force and uh, what can we reading? Um, yeah. Air superiority, close air support. Let's deploy some of the fighters to this and some of the borders, bombers as well. So we can already declare. Let's do that. Yeah. Should we maybe? Boost our commander. All right, all right, come on. Just go. Also, let's. Uh, as well. Why not? Zhukov, come on, winter expert. Yeah. Okay, let's spend all of our common points, why not? Um, <laughs> so yeah, let's decrease the speed. Yeah, we're winning everywhere. It's just a game of numbers at this point. Just push through and just kill people. Okay, how about some of artillery? Oh no, we first need to add some engineering equipment. No, even that is not is not possible. We have quite a lot of shortages. Okay, even with under equipped army, we are doing good. Yeah. So let's boost our basic 
into equipment production fortunately because of the garrison garrison will be huge and let's boost our supply trucks operations and garrison probably will have to use everything because it's just not enough army experience well not good let's eat the paranoia increase okay Zhukov come on fight Zhukov joins the fray yeah we are pushing the front line the front line offense offensive is going quite well I hope yeah. let's see how our planes doing yeah they're doing fine let's check the detailed reports how uh, this one doing, doing oh yeah like this enemy troops bombed see that yeah that's what I'm talking about okay how long till we have close our support Is not is, is is we can get by with four, I think. Yeah. What's up, earrings? No, it's not nothing to concern myself about. Okay. We have a small pocket here. Let's just check that it's all. goes well all right um, yeah I guess the next concentrated industry is in order and the next construction is in order as well it's almost 37 uh, and improved machine tools yeah. let's go on with our industrial tech we still have time to build quite a good quite big industrial base yeah okay the pocket is done so I'm sure everything else will go fine as well we have some struggles here here and there but it's nothing to worry about Stalin don't need to think on such small minutia of war matters everything will be just handled without him okay you can't yet do that all of the following we need to see then factories mm -hmm. yeah, let's decrease our paranoia a bit Well, let's forge production reports because I, I don't like that. Okay, and we now need to to, to get some political power to increase our war experience. Another thing with, with the tanks is that you have to always put out quite expensive in terms of arm experience, quite expensive divisions, and you can't uh, research your land doctrines quite fast enough, and this is important. Alright, so far we are grabbing experience quite nicely, but the war will soon end and what, else, what time will happen. <laughs> there are some gimmicky things how to farm 
army experience using like perpetual battles, but I will I won't do that. I don't think it's reasonable to do that because I don't want to play the game as if I like exp oh sorry. What's that? Zhukov, get get on with it this. Oh how did it happen to Come on, Zhukov. Fuck these people up. Oh, you fuckers. Okay, where everything else? Everyone else. Zhukov, come on. Yeah, let's... Alright. See, we, st we still need some motorized, but not... Six divisions is like totally fine because because of things like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, and actually, how about our light tanks? Oh, we have those 216, it's fine. All right, what's up with everyone else? Zhukov, come on, fix this. Just fix this. Okay, yeah. we need what? We need a hundred of political power. Okay. All right, Zhukov is now out of work. Let's employ him again. Here. Let's not other thing this. Just go ahead with, with this. I don't care that Warsaw won't fall as soon as possible, as quick as possible, it's not very important. We still need to capture quite a lot of other stuff. Alright. Infantry equipment. Yeah, let's produce some CAS. Close air support. Should we upgrade it? Maybe not. Maybe we should save all the upgrades for the uh, for the fighters. Oh, yeah. How our production is going? I mean, sorry, I mean, I mean construction. Socialism in one country. Are we happy? Are we happy with the socialism? All right. We need to do as soon as possible. Yeah, let's join this committee. Why not? Um, <laughs> what we need as soon as possible are uh, this stuff. So let's go on with that. With this. Okay, we have some nice pockets. They will be dealt with automatically. No need to concern ourselves with this. Um, oh, we can we can cho choose some spirits of the academy. Will there be? Arm experience gain, yeah. That's nice. And what's here? Trashment, that's nice as well. Yeah, let's try this one. This one's good. Come on, power. Alright, infantry experts, sure. Sure, sure. Come on, guys, just kill, kill people. What's up? See, it's not that difficult. Okay, we 
are missing some equipment. Saves our lives, saves people's lives. Yeah. So we've boosted our uh, garrisons. Um, and also. Come on, just just kill kill stuff. As you can see, it's not that difficult. Okay, what are you doing? Just come on. Alright, are we happy? Yeah. Seems that we are. All states. Yeah, Poland was an exit. What's up with Estonia? Hold on. Aha, it's now guaranteed. Well, nothing to worry. We don't need these countries, so. So yeah, I guess let's let's wrap this up for now. This will be the first part. Our next order of business will be to boost our divisions with support equipment with everything basically and um, I guess there will be no more wars after all after this because everything else is guaranteed by allies Except maybe Finland. Yeah. But Finland we don't need it. Why do we need Finland? Uh, so we've boosted our uh, production by quite a lot by capturing Poland. Actually, we can divert our attention to Asia and fight some wars here, but I don't think it's also. They are very, very weak. These countries, they are very weak. Except Japan, but surely we want to fight Japan. Okay, let's. This it's enough with the aggression for now. We will just now peacefully build and prepare for that for the German incursion. Yeah, yeah. We will maybe complete our divisions in such a way that they will have they will have like. 28 combat with something they will have nice uh, uh, line of support uh, battalions and or companies how do you call them company and they will have um, quite a lot of artillery here and we will also have defensive defensive divisions we will, we will have them as well uh, just to hold the lines so yeah, thanks a lot everyone for watching, have a nice day.